Subscribe to get curried and click on the bell icon for more updates. Today's recipe is dedicated to that team which possibly gives you some of the strongest content in terms of cricketing IPL history. The team that I'm talking about is Chennai Super Kings. And the recipe that I'm talking about is Molga Pudi. Let's begin. Well, today's recipe for the uninitiated is also called a gunpowder. Now, what's a Molga Pudi and what's a gunpowder? It's basically a spicy condiment which is generally served with idli, dosa, uttapam. It's very simple. All you do is take a little bit on your plate, create a little well with your index finger, pour in some oil, pour in some ghee choices, yours, smear it well and an instant chutney is ready. What I have done till now is I've heated a pan and I've added in chana dal. You roast it on slow to moderate flame for a minimum of 10 to 12 minutes till it's nice and golden brown in color. It's important to roast the chana dal well because that's going to define the taste of a mulga pudi. The next thing that goes in this is udad dal. Roast these together and while that's happening, we'll also add in basmati rice. Well, this one is a complete optional ingredient and I know that in a lot of homes we do not use this, but trust me, this adds in to the fragrance of mulga pudi. This has turned nice and golden brown in color. While this is happening, I'll also add in just a touch or rather a pinch of fenugreek seeds. Well, I personally do not like adding in a lot of fenugreek seeds because if the molga pudi stays for a longer time, it may turn slightly bitter. Time to turn the flame off and transfer this in a bowl so that this kind of starts cooling down. While the pan is still nice and hot, Let's move it back on the flame and transfer in our red chilies. All you need to do is remove the stock, add in the chilies and just splash in a touch of oil. The idea of adding in oil at this stage is to help the chilies get out its natural flavor and oils. On absolute low flame, ensure you start toasting this till it's nice and crisp. The chilies are lightly toasted. Let's also transfer these into the mixture. Now it's critically important to allow this entire mixture to cool down completely or at least come down to room temperature. It's roughly been around half an hour and the mixture has cooled down completely. Time to salt it well. Mix this and transfer a little by little into a grinding jar, depending on the size of the jar. The dry spice condiment is ground and ready. Let's transfer this into a clean and wiped bowl. And similarly, let's grind the remaining mixture. Let's transfer this into the earlier mix and give this a good mix. With this, your molga pudi is done and ready. All you now need is a plate of steaming hot idlis. Well, do not forget to like and share the video and continue watching Indian Culinary League Season 2.